This is a Six Feet Up production. In this video, Six Feet Up's Chief Technology Officer, Calvin Hendricks Parker, explains how to add blogging capabilities to a website powered by the open source content management system, Plone. In this video, we will cover the capabilities of blogging with Plone, including how to install a blog add-on, how to activate the feature, how to create a blog with the blog product, how to tag a blog post, how to set a publish date, and how to add a video to a blog entry. So I wanted to show you today really quickly how we can add blogging into Plone. Uh, right out of the box, Plone gives you a great CMS, but a lot of people ask us how we can blog. So first we're going to do is stop our running Plone instance. We will edit the build.configuration file, go down to the eggs section, and we will add in collective dot blog dot star save those changes rerun our build out that will go out to pypy or plone.org and grab the latest version of blogstar which is the blogging product we're going to use inside of our instance there we go all done restart our instance I'll start the foreground Now we go back to our Plone site, we can log in. Once we're logged in, go into the site setup in our control panel. Go to the add-ons. And we will activate blog.star. Once it's activated, we still have to create our blog area and then activate the blog view. So we'll go back to home. We will create a new folder. We'll just call it blog. And click save. We'll go ahead and publish that folder. Now to really activate the blog features, we need to turn on the blog view. So under the display menu, we can actually select blog view. That'll give us the reverse chronological standard blog view with the body of the blog post actually on the page. We can go ahead and create a post. What's nice with Blogstar is it's very easy to create posts. They're just standard content types, but then they get into like a blog looking view. Click save, we'll go ahead and publish our first post, and we click back on our blog, and you'll see we've got our blog post one. Now what's missing here is the standard tag cloud archive uh, view and recent entries view of the blog that you'd see with any kind of WordPress or Drupal blog, so we're going to click manage portlets, and we'll go ahead and add these in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to block the portlets coming from the parent, since I only want the, the blog portlets showing here. I'm going to do the same thing on the uh, left and right side. We'll add in now the recent entries, the tag cloud. Here we go, tag cloud. Lots of settings here. But basically, we can just go with the default. Click save. We will also add in the monthly archive. And we'll add in the recent entries blog post. We'll save that. Oh, you need to double check this blocking the portlets on this side also. Save. Now when we go back to our blog. We will see we've got our archive and our last entries. We don't have any tags on this post. Let's go ahead and tag the post. Edit and categorization. We'll add a new tag, blog, and clone, and we'll save. And now we've got a tag cloud with the, the new keywords we just added in here. And you can see the blog star is giving us this nice blog view with the uh, tags right on the front page. 
click blog. There we go, we have our blog view. I'm going to show you how we can add a video into our new blog. Just adding a file. It'll automatically get recognized by the blog software as a video. We'll upload a video file. And we'll set a publish date. Today. We'll do it for right now. And we'll save. Now we go to our blog view, and we've got our demo video right inside our blog.